2009's Dogtooth was directed by Yorgos Lanthimos. Beautiful name. It stars Christos Sergiolo as the father, Mikel Valli as mother, Angeliki Pepolia as the older daughter, Histros Pasilis as the son, and Mary Sonny as the younger daughter. A mother and father keep their teenage children isolated from the world in an attempt to shelter them from negative influences. Our protagonist is the eldest daughter. When she comes across videotapes of Hollywood films, she starts to suspect that the world outside of her home isn't what her parents have taught her and her siblings to believe. The son receives more praise and more stickers than the rest. He's like the golden child. Even though he gets everything that he asks for, he still appears to be despondent. I get the feeling that he yearns for other boys his age to hang around with, to be friends with. He needs camaraderie, not just the friendship of his sisters and his family. The youngest daughter likes to invent games for them to play. She does what she's told mostly, but you get the sense that she's brighter than she seems and her parents know this and they're worried. They're worried that she's going to start suspecting things like her older sister. Dogtooth examines the nature of families. It asks, what would happen if a father took protecting his family to the extreme? The scenarios that unfold in Dogtooth are perverse and abhorrent, but they make us reflect on how strange so-called normal families are. Why do so many parents lie to their children about the meanings of words or shield them from reality by using euphemisms? Our early years are our most formative. The things we learn in childhood become the most ingrained. If the family is supposed to prepare and help integrate the individual into society, why do so many parents lie and hide the realities of society from their children? I really enjoyed the cinematography in this film. I thought it was very impressive. There are a lot of shots against windows, which can be quite difficult to do or to pull off in a, in a nice way. And I think uh, Timios Bakatakis did a really good job keeping me visually engaged throughout the film. I enjoyed the way we got to learn about the world the parents had constructed for the children. It's, there's no long, like boring scenes of exposition of them explaining you know, why they can't go outside or why cats the most feared animal on earth. We're just sort of shown these things and we're given the courtesy of being able to figure out things for ourselves. And I really enjoyed that. There's a scene in Dogtooth where a dog is being trained to be a guard dog and they're hitting it with a stick. And I, I get the visual comparison that that's supposed to be it's symbolic of how they're treating their children. They're striking their children. They're controlling the children's environment. They're making, they're trying to shape the child. Um, the scene with the father and the dog trainer is supposed to be like, you know, like the father's like, I know how this works. And it's like, I do the same thing with my children. But I just thought the scene didn't really add anything to the film. And it was unfortunate to see a dog being hit. I mean, the children be a hit in the film, but at least they could consent to being struck um, for the film. The dogs, you know, they don't really have a choice. So I thought that was, it was fucked up. I like Dogtooth a lot. It's something unique and I'm definitely inspired now to watch uh, Lanthimos's other films. I recommend Dogtooth to those who enjoy dark psychological thrillers. I'm not going to give this film a rating because I've decided that giving films ratings is sort of I don't know. It's redundant. It's not really necessary. You can get an impression of how I felt about the film from the review. So yeah, I'm not going to be reviewing. I'm not going to be rating films in my reviews anymore. I'm just going to recommend it or not recommend it. Uh, I do recommend Dogtooth. I think you should check it out. Like I said, if you enjoy dark psychological thrillers. Thanks so much for watching my review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it around. If you'd like to see more reviews like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel.